Hey everyone, Rogold here, and today you knew this was coming. We've done videos breaking down all of the big announcements and discussion topics from this past week's Division Day event, and that just leaves one thing left to go over, the biggest surprise of the day, which was the news that the Division 2 is getting a new DLC. It's incredibly exciting, I have a lot of thoughts I want to share on it, so if you want to hear everything that we know regarding this upcoming DLC, you're in the right place. Let's not waste any time and get right to it. Alright, so if you're out of the loop, let's bring you up to speed. Ubisoft announced this past week that The Division 2 is indeed receiving new story DLC. They've been very particular about how they refer to this new content. That may be intentional, we'll talk about that shortly. But in the Year 5 roadmap, and I'll put a picture of it up on screen, it says that Year 5 Season 4 titled Black Diamond is going to be bringing us a new story DLC. And the host of the event said that this DLC will contain new zones, new main missions, and a whole new endgame structure, which was later clarified to be the Seasons 2.0 part of that same roadmap so it's all in one bundle. So yes, that's very exciting. We're going to be going new places, fighting new things, doing all the stuff. It's what everyone's wanted for a very long time. A big question many have been asking is if this will be comparable of or in a similar size to the Warlords of New York expansion that we got for the game. And the simple answer is at this point we don't know. I don't think once I have seen Ubisoft or Massive refer to this upcoming content as an expansion, which is obviously what they called Wony. Is that intentional? Do they want to separate the two because this new one might be a bit smaller in scope than Warlords was? It's entirely possible possible. We know that the development team they have now is much smaller and much less experienced than the team that put together Wony, so that could very well be the case, or this thing could be just as big as Warlords was, and they just haven't gotten around to properly naming it yet. This also brings into question whether this new DLC will be paid content or not. I think the most likely answer is yes. Even if it were to be smaller than Warlords, I could see them charging $20 for it, you know, 10 bucks less than Warlords, but still some money, and I think that's fair. If they're actually delivering new zones, new missions, all of that, I'm happy to pay for it. Another question I'm sure many is going to have is when will this DLC drop? As I mentioned, it's slated to come alongside Year 5 Season 4, which is somewhat on, given that that's the end of a content year instead of it kicking off a new one, but whatever. Year 5 Season 1 launches in early June, seasons are historically three months long, meaning Season 2 in September, Season 3 in December, and that would put Season 4 and this new DLC in March of 2024 which is rather poetic, and I kind of hope that delays don't bump it out from that, because March is obviously Division's big month, where they used to drop all of the big stuff, so it would be really cool to see this drop then as well. So obviously things are subject to change or be delayed, but for now, you can look forward to this DLC in roughly 11 months' time. Let's move on to the more speculation side of this whole discussion, that being where this DLC is going to take place and what it will be about. The first thing I want to mention, because I know somebody is going to say it, oh, well this is obviously the St. Louis DLC. I made a video not that long ago discussing the feasibility of a St. Louis DLC, which has become a wildly popular theory after the city's inclusion in the Season 11 comms. And although my outcome in that video was that I do not believe we would be getting a St. Louis DLC, there were, I swear, multiple comments of people saying, yeah, I agree, we're definitely going to St. Louis, which again, was not my conclusion. So I'm happy to be wrong on this. I would love for us to go to any brand new city, but the long story short from that other video is that the Season 11 comms are all referencing one plot point that took place in St. Louis from the Division Recruited novel. And if you've read that novel, you'll know why there's probably not much relevant story left to tell there. So again, I could be wrong, and I will happily admit when and if I am, but I personally just don't think this DLC will have any involvement with St. Louis. The other big theory after the Division Day stream was that this all might be taking us back to Brooklyn in New York. If you look at the picture for Black Diamond that they showed, it's a clear image of the Brooklyn Bridge, and many are saying that by the angle of it, that looks to be from the Brooklyn side of the bridge rather than the Manhattan side. Now, I haven't done my own investigation into that. It could very well be true. My feelings on it at this current point in time is that this thing is just as likely to take place in Brooklyn as anywhere else. That image could be a teaser. It could also be one big misdirect. We just don't have enough info or content text to really make an informed guess. So yeah, Brooklyn, another New York suburb, DC outskirts, a new city entirely, but not St. Louis, <laughs> wherever this DLC is going to be located, as long as it's in a new and distinct area, I'm going to be happy. New stuff to explore is awesome. Where I do think we can begin to speculate a bit more is on the premise of the DLC. 
And that's that I very much think this will serve as the conclusion to the Natalia Sokolova, Black Tusk, True Sun storyline that we've had going on really ever since season three. I have always said that if they want to properly do this storyline justice and have us fully take on Natalia in a way that makes sense, she can't just be a manhunt target who, you know, happens to show up at the DCD headquarters and we just go and finish her off. No, it has to be its own campaign, either the Division 3 or its own expansion, and now we're getting that. Somebody also pointed out in a previous video of mine that the name of the season this DLC is dropping in, Black Diamond, could be very symbolic. The Black Tusk's logo is a diamond shape, Black Tusk, Black Diamond. I think that name could totally be in reference to the idea that this DLC will see us taking on the head of the entire Black Tusk organization, and I think that's super awesome. Having new main missions where we take on combined Black Tusk and True Sun's forces, maybe hunt down McManus and his legions of hunters, and finally track down Sokolova and fight through, you know, hordes of elite squadrons of Black Tusk? Sign me the F up. That sounds completely rad. Obviously, it might not be that. That's just my own hope and theory, but I think it would make a lot of sense. You know, Destiny kind of has an awkward structure with their expansions to where they're the things that kick off the year of content. So even if the big fight or villain in the expansion is meant to be a climactic event, the story then just kind of continues for the following 11 months. The advantage to Massive putting this DLC at the closing chapter of year five, even though a moment ago I was saying it's a bit odd and that's just because we haven't seen it done before, but that's that they can use the platform of this DLC to fully and properly conclude this storyline that we've been following for so long and are going to see continue throughout year five in the lead up to this. And that would mean that afterwards, whether we head into year six or whatever else might lie beyond, it's a fresh page, a new chapter of storytelling that they can begin. And I think that would be a really cool way to handle things. So for now, there's a lot of unanswered questions with this upcoming Division 2 DLC, but we know it's coming and that's enough for me. I think there's a lot of potential for Massive to knock this thing out of the park between the appeal of new locations to the story potential, the new endgame, all of it. I'm very eager to find out more of what awaits, but for now, folks, that is everything we know about this upcoming DLC and some of my thoughts on it. I very much hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, a like would be super appreciated, and be sure to click that subscribe button as well as turning on the notification bell so that you're the first to know when we do end up getting more news about this DLC and Year 5 as a whole. Let me know your thoughts on the topic of this new Division 2 DLC. How surprised or not surprised are you that we are getting it? Where do you think it might take place? What will the story be about? Will it be paid? Whatever your thoughts are, I will as always be super curious to hear them and that's going to do it for me today everybody thank you all so much for watching i'll see you in the next one rogue gold out